Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a new in-wall smart switch. I currently run a couple of Wemos in my house and I was looking for something a bit different. So I thought I would take a look at Moe's. It's about half the price, if not even a little bit more than half the price. It seems to have all the same features. And if you go right to the back here, it says it works with Alexa, Google Assistant, as well as IFTTT. So next I'm gonna get into the unboxing and see how it looks. So here we got our standard wall plate. So here we got the switch itself. And at the top, you can see that there is an LED light there. And when you've got power, you will see it as a green LED. And when it's looking to connect, it will flash a purple on and off until you're connected. Over here, when you look at the side profile, you can see it, it does come out a bit. This gives a good bounce when you're actually pressing it. So you know that you're actually clicking it. So here we got our load, our live, our neutral and our ground. So pretty straightforward, not gonna go in too much into that. So let's see what else is here. So over here in this package here, we have a neutral wire as well as a wire knot and two screws to plug into our existing outlet box. That's pretty much it. You got your documentation here telling you how to install it. So let's get to the install and see how it goes. When installing the switch, I had to refer back to the manual, which was very helpful because it allowed me to see which color should be placed on what part of the switch. Next, we're gonna be taking a look how to set it up to your wireless and get it synced up with Google Home. So back on my Android device here, we're gonna be downloading this Smart Life, Smart Living app. Uh, we're going to use this to actually connect to our switch. So after it installs, we're going to go right into the app, register. I connect through my cell phone number. Uh, you get sent a verification code. And then once it's all set up, you'll go right into the app and we'll click the add device button. And once we hit the add device button, we'll select, select wall switch. And then after, our switch is already going to be flashing, so we'll just confirm the indicator. And then it finds automatically our SSID and just type in your whatever your Wi-Fi password is. You press confirm. And once it connects, you'll be prompted to actually name your device. I'm going to call mine Playroom because this will be in my kid's room because they keep on forgetting the light on and I hate walking downstairs to turn it off. Now on the next screen, you'll see that it gives all the different supported methods of um, third party control. I'm going to click on Google Assistant here and it just tells you exactly how to hook it up. So I just opened up my Google Home and now I'm going to actually add the wall switch now. So if I scroll down here all the way to the Smart Life app, it will now actually prompt you to log into your Smart Life account, uh, which will then hook it up into your Google Home. So now that this is all connected up, what we're gonna do next is I'm just gonna show you how it works with my Google Home and I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay, Google, turn off the playroom. Okay, Google, turn on the playroom. So this is where I'm gonna conclude the video. The Moe's House Wi-Fi Smart Switch, I highly recommend. It works, it looks good, and it works with Google Home, Alexa, and IFTTT, like as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. It is really well-priced, in my personal opinion. If you have any questions or comments, just drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you can. And I'll see you on the next one.